Whether you're looking for organic produce, goat's milk, or even hay rides, Rancho Alegre Farms in the shadow of Atlanta has what you need. The Monitor's Damon Jones recently took a trip to the farm and gives us a closer look at this unique operation and their owners. That is not a sound usually associated with Gwinnett County, but just 30 miles east of Atlanta is exactly where you'll find Rancho Allegra Farms, a family-run business that specializes in a little bit of everything. The place co-owner Pilar Quintaro says was inspired by her Colombian heritage. Very much a, a little bit about our culture. We will, um, usually people will have their house in the city and they go, uh, there's always long weekends. There's 26 holidays in Colombia that they celebrate. So there's a lot of, tw there's 26 long um, weekends and most people will go to the farm on the weekends and spend time with uh, all the families and friends and they'll get together. And so that was, you know, that's something that we did in Colombia, but I would never thought of doing that here in the United States. And that's how it kind of came about. And we had actually just come back from a trip um, and being about a month in Colombia. Like I said before, I mean, I buy this one more for coming and living, enjoy with the family, because I'm, that's what I'm saying, all my family's got farm in Colombia, and they live in the farm. Some of my cousins live in the farm, so I say, I want to live in the farm, because I'm tired of neighborhoods. And just like that, the Quintaro family traded in the city life of Peachtree Corners for the farming life in Decula. It's a drastic change that certainly took some getting used to. A little reluctant at the beginning, because I was a very much a city girl at the time. Never had thought about farming, ne had never had a backyard garden, never um, rode a horse, none of that stuff. And to be here today and be able to talk from all those experiences is pretty, I find it unique. And that's also a good way to describe this multi-purpose farm, as the backyard houses a four-acre garden while chickens, horses and goats roam in the front. It's a house transformation that's been years in the making. Because we buy the farm by six, uh, 2004, yeah, about seven years ago, and we built the house in 2006, and we built a room in 2007. Every year we add in something new, more animal, more buildings. Speaking of new, that's what Rancho Allegra Farms has been offering since their opening back in 2006, as they split their time between farming and hosting a number of different events. Harvest the school's field trips they enjoy the most. It's basically my opportunity to be in an ur have an urban farm close to the city and be able to educate to people. One of my biggest passions is that as I've been learning all these things about farming, that I as the more I learn how better the lifestyle is, how more nutritious it is to eat things without any chemicals or pesticides, the more passionate I feel that I want others to learn about it. And I think nowadays watching um, TV shows like Food Revolution and um, seeing how kids really don't know where things come from. They think eggs come from Kroger and milk comes from Publix and they, they don't know that eggs come, you know, from a chicken. And so they get to see that and they get to see a tomato growing on a vine and, where, and how, it, it, how it grows. So those are experiences that I'm hoping that we could probably instill into kids. We like to learn because, you know, believe it or not, you learn from the kids, when they, you know, when they, 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 how they're milking, how they're asking questions about, you know, growing, how the chicken, is a chicken, is a roaster. they got so many questions to ask you, so you're still teaching, but you're still learning from them. And that's not the only kids they're concerned about, as both Pilar and Juan feel. Their new lifestyle is really good for the entire family. There's a lot of people that would never um, take on um, an enterprise like this, but it is very enriching to the soul. It is, um, we, I mean, we're with the family all the time. We're with the kids. I tell my kids, look, look at how many kids come on a field trip. They all have to go to a daycare and, be, and have to be watched over. You guys get to have your mom at home. Yes, farming is not easy, but there again, it's something that as they grow, they have a lot of life skills. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Damon Jones.